All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alboron, and we are in Valheim. And today we have a seed discovery video for you. We are going back to what we used to do. We are discovering maypoles. Now, as of making this video, you can still create maypoles in game. At some point, that will go away, and this may be a really good seed for you. Um, it's a challenge seed, and there's a boar, as you can see. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. So this is a very small island in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, and there's another little island right here, which we're going to look at pretty quickly. Uh, we'll look at soon, I should say. So it is at about 4 o'clock from the spawn you will have to get on a boat to get here or you have to go into cheat mode like I am to fly here now it does have a maypole okay and it is right in the center of this village now one of the reasons I decided to do a video on this particular um, seed is because I think it, it'd be a really good challenge seed okay this you first of all you're literally right in the middle of the dividing line between the dark forest and the meadows. And the dark forest runs up the coast here. It's just a little strip all the way up the coast. But it's enough to cause you some, some pain, meaning that there will be gray dwarfs that spawn. Now, I'm playing on a very modded, modded uh, playthrough. So I've got, like, crocodiles. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um... If you don't play on a modded server, the maypole will still be here. Um, most of the animals won't, except for the boars. Now, what do you get for resources? Like most maypole locations, you do get a little village, which is good. But for the most part, this little island is very sparse. Now, there is wildlife. You can see the boars. Um, there's some mushrooms right here you can see. There are some necks rolling around, and you can see over here in the distance... There's one of those five stone old portal hubs. If you played beta, you know that that was meant to be one of the portal hubs, which they never implemented into game. Now, uh, I like building at those. Those are great, great places to build because it presents a good defensive position, meaning these stones can't be destroyed. Okay, um, trolls aren't going to break them, whatever. Um, this is a good place to kind of fence in, and you can maybe build a port here. That's all open water. You can see into the distance. There's some land over there. Um, so I think you could have a portal port here um, or uh, your own structure. And, of course, you've got the maypole over here right on the water as well. Now, again, this is meant as a challenge seed. This isn't... It, the seed in and of itself, boss locations, etc., isn't fantastic. It's not horrible, but I think that this is a seed that if you were to build here, it's for an aesthetic build. Maybe you build like a really big base or a castle or whatever because you want the maypole. Um, and, but from there, you're going to have to go outward to, to get all of your stuff. Um, there's some tin resources here. There are no tombs on this island. Uh, it's, like I said, it is a challenge seed. But let's take a look at the Valheim Seed Generator, Map Generator, and we'll get into it in more detail. So this particular seed does have a second maypole. It's up here to the north of the spawn. I haven't checked it out. Um, could be great. I don't know. Um, here is the spawn. It, you know, you've got some resources here. Um, I know that there, I, I did happen to see a, a couple of copper. Well, one copper as I flew over, so that's good. Now, here's that little island that we're on. Here's that maypole, and here's the strip of the dark forest I was talking about, and here's the other little two islands. Um, you've got a bunch of little islands here. It's a little archipelago, uh, which is cool, but, you know, if you want to do a sailor seed, I think this would uh, pretty do pretty well for you. Um, I like these little... Um, planes and I like the little islands with a little just a little bit of biome because it's easier to farm up resources at least in my opinion excuse me bosses okay you've got an elder pretty close you've got an elder up here as well um, 
I gotta pan out for a while. Bone mass is up here. And there's one down here. So you're gonna have to sail to him. Motor is over here. And Yagloth is... Where did I see Yagloth? He is way away from here. Way away. Yeah, this one here, this one here. I thought there was one over to the to the west. Yeah, there he is. Um, so yeah, not an easy seed to play on. It's definitely going to be a sailor seed. You can see there's a bunch of little islands, which is fairly cool. Um, and you've got your little your maypole on this one little island. Now, uh, maybe not for you. Okay, maybe this is solely a sailor's island, which uh, playthrough, which is fine. We'll see. Now, where's the trader? Um, better news for the trader. The trader is fairly close over to this island right here. You should be able to get to that pretty easily. So that's good news. At least you have that. Um, what else? Uh, Leviathans. Not horrible, not great. It would be great if there were a couple in this strip right here. They are not. There's one, or, one up here, one up here, and a couple over here. Um, close enough Again, you're going to need to sail on this seed. It, it is what it is. Uh, which is, you know, some people really enjoy that in Valheim. Um, I like to sail, but not excessively. Uh, so, you know, if that's your thing, this seed is definitely for you. All right, tombs and crypts. Where do we get our loot? Uh, not horrible, meaning your starter island has plenty of dark forest crypts, which is nice. Your maypole location, the small island, you've got a couple of sunken crypt concentrations near it which is good um, you know I think that this one up here is pretty good you've got the trader right here uh, and you've got a dark forest I can see you building a uh, fort right here maybe or well actually let's see if there's a troll cave nearby okay not really but there's you know I would say you're probably going to build something by this trader, and that'll give you the access to the sunken crypts up here. And if you really need more iron, you've got, you know, a little bit more here, here, and here. Uh, not horrible. Not great. But I think that that's, that's a fairly good uh, crypt distribution for a challenge seed, particularly a sailing seed. And, of course, you've got a couple around the Elder as well, which is good. Um, frost Caves. Plenty around the motor. Uh, there's one close to you here. Other than that, you're going to have to get on a boat again and sail. But normally, what I'm seeing when I'm doing my seed reviews is the motor locations usually have at least two or three frost caves around them. If that's what you're into. Again, some people do a playthrough and they want to experience everything. They want to collect every resource they possibly can. So that's good. Other times, like I've played on a seed where the the motor location was just so far away, I ended up finding another seed where motor was close to the spawn. I spawned in my character, went and cleared motor in a couple of frost caves, and then went back to the other seed that I was playing on. That's one of the beauties of Valheim. You can do that. Um, some people think it's a little cheesy. Uh, you know, your gameplay is, is your gameplay. You, you decide what's cheap and what isn't. Um, but yeah, the, the motor locations here are sufficient for any type of um, uh, materials that you would want from the frost caves. But we also want to know where are the dragon eggs. Now, this motor has enough dragon eggs around it. So doesn't this one. Um, your two closest motor locations are pretty solid biomes for uh, the mountains. I suspect that they probably have a good chunk of silver in them as well. So I think... You're really only going to have to go to one or one or maybe two of these. Now, this one is is actually surrounded by planes. Okay. Now that might be problematic because you may not be ready for the planes experience yet in Death Skeetos as you head to Motor. Um, if you've been playing the game for a while, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new to the game, um, the planes are the current end game and they are rough, say the least. This motor up here. Um, I can see you landing right here in the dark forest, maybe um, building a little camp here and then progressing in. This probably would be the one that I would go to. I really don't like the planes, but to each their own. So there's that. That's the mountain biome. What else we got here? Um, useful runes. There is nothing near you. 
You have nothing here. Okay. All you get is a maple. Um, there are piggies running around. So like most villages uh, in, in Valheim, when you first get there, there's usually one boar. Sometimes there's three or four. This particular one has three or four. Um, I would recommend that you get them domesticated as quickly as possible and producing meat for you. Because as I will show you in a minute, there's no beehives on this on this island either. So honey and boars are usually um, the best early food sources you can get, other than what you can gather, right? Um, you know, you can gather mushrooms, etc. But, you know, in terms of farming and having reproducible product, uh, the meat from the boars and honey are what you want to focus on early game. And even here by our spawn, we don't have a lot of honey uh, options. You've only got two queen bees here. So uh, it, I think early game, your, real, your priority is really going to be securing a, a food source. And then, you know, you may luck out. I haven't reviewed all of this dark forest. There may be a carrot seed in here. Which is great, because at that point, you'll be able to maybe plant those once you get your, um, uh, what is it, the, the rake or the hoe, I can't remember what it's actually called. Um, but yeah, once you get that, then you can produce carrots, and you know, uh, you should be fine. Uh, tar pits, totems, etc. Plenty of tar over here for this motor location. Um, if, if, so, you know, and then there's more over here, which is fine. The tar is used to create that end game um, shingle look, black shingle, which is nice. You know, I know a lot of people like that. You can access it in cheat mode, but if you don't use cheat mode or don't know how to, you're going to have to farm some of the tar pits. And this motor location over here has plenty of them. Um, totems. Yeah, there's a couple over here as well. Which is fine over here you're gonna need to find totems uh, you know. and with those come the fueling camps as well but it is what it is but I think this area right here might be your best bet to get the totems that you need to spawn Yagaloth so overall it's I wouldn't rate this very high in terms of a great seed to play like if you're coming back and you want to speed run and you just want to get to the mist lands when it comes out and for end game the seed probably isn't for you if you've played valheim for a little while and are now looking for something that's a little challenging the seed is definitely for you if you're looking for something that emphasizes sailing and boats maybe you're playing on a modded server that has a lot of boat mods and you know you're playing with buddies and you actually doing the viking raiding thing this sir this seed might be for you um i would give this like a seven and a half maybe a seven uh it's definitely one of the lower rated seeds that i've done in a long time but because it's a maypole on a small island it was worthy to me to do it now again as of the point of creating this video you can build maypoles on your own whenever you want with just a regular menu if you've got the resources or you can just go into cheat mode okay however there will come a time when uh, coffee stain removes that ability to build them in regular mode and you know finding maypoles on the map are uh, are, are just you know it's a cool thing now there aren't that many items in Valheim that are unique, right? You like, maypoles are one of the few things that you can find out in the wild that are random, that do not appear in every seed. So is it necessary to, to play Valheim with a maypole? Absolutely not. It gives you plus one to your uh, rested bonus, which just adds a minute to your buff. Um, you do not need to have that to play Valheim successfully. But it's cool to find them out in the wild, and it's cool to find those seeds. And, you know, I've always looked for them because it's a unique thing. And I like unique things uh, in video games, like Easter eggs. And you build around it, and, you know, that's part of the game, right? The gaming experience. <laughs> Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this uh, a seed that you would play? Do you like to have the challenge seeds? Do you, do you like to sail? 
Also, if you have unique seeds that you found in Valheim and you want me to do a, a deeper dive into them, like the assessment I just did, where I, we look at the bosses, look at the map, give an assessment on the playability, leave the seed in, in a comment below so I can go check it out. And if it's, you know, if it's good, I'll definitely do a video on it because I'm always looking for seeds that have like small boss spawns, you know, where they're on a little island or something like that. Or a spawn where the sea, where maybe the elder and the trader are right next to each other. Or a small island like this with a couple of biomes on it. Or maypoles that are unique locations. Anything like that, uh, leave it in, the, in a comment below and I'll definitely go check it out. Anyways, thank you for coming by and taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I'll talk to you again soon.